How's it going guys? Brian Cusco here at Triple B. Given the right knowledge, caring for snakes is a relatively easy thing to do. They don't need much. A chance to thermoregulate, some food every now and then, and some clean water. You don't need to check on them, but once a day, and they'll surely be fine. But what if something happens when you're not home? What if there's a power outage, or an electrical failure, or even worse, a fire? These are real scenarios that can mean life or death for your animals, if not caught in time. Today, we're gonna to talk about some of the ways you can avoid such a tragedy. You're watching Triple B TV. Before we get started, I'd like to point out that I am in no way, shape, or form endorsing nor sponsored by any of the makers of these products I'm about to talk about. They're simply tools I've found through my own research that I think work very well for my purposes. So in today's episode, we're not going to be talking about basic husbandry skills, such as using thermostats and providing a constant supply of fresh water. As suggested, we're going to go over some of the ways to make sure your animals are safe 24-7. Security cameras. This might seem obvious to some, but these have already proven to be lifesavers for me. There are many different options available out there, but I've chosen a brand called Nest. These cameras connect to the internet via Wi-Fi. You can set them up to send notifications to your cell phone in the event that they spot any movement. They can also record up to 30 days of footage. Now, these will of course be very handy in the event, God forbid, anyone should break into your home. But they're more useful than that. When I had someone here looking after my snakes while I was away, one of the cages was not closed all the way. Now, the camera saw the snake moving around and sent me a notification. I was able to immediately call that person and let them know that one of the snakes had gotten out. And when he got to the house, I was able to tell him exactly where the snake had wandered off to and get her back in her enclosure without incident. Another Nest product that I have here is a smoke detector that also connects to the Wi-Fi. The second it detects even a hint of smoke, I get a message sent to my phone. Now those crucial moments between a smoldering electrical failure to full-on flames and combustion are short. Getting an immediate jump on it could very well mean the difference between life and death for your animals. It could even mean the difference between burning down your home instead of just some minor smoke damage. A third monitoring system I use is called Reptile Guardian. This is another device that connects via Wi-Fi. You seeing a theme here? If you don't have Wi-Fi set up at your house, now might be the time to do so. Don't worry, our last backup system doesn't require Wi-Fi. The Reptile Guardian comes with a set of sensors and probes that monitor ambient temps, hotspot temps, and even humidity levels. You can set high and low alarms to alert you via your cell phone if those limits are breached. For example, I have the high temp on one of my racks set at 92. If that heat source goes to 93, I get a notification instantly. If the ambient humidity in my room drops below 50%, I know right away. The system even stores data for each sensor for a week, so you can look back and see how steady, or not steady, all your levels are. To me, this is an invaluable system. I can't imagine leaving my animals without it. Even if the power to your Wi-Fi goes out, you'll get a notification saying that the sensor has stopped sending data. It's a great tool for your peace of mind. The final safeguard I have in place is there to protect the snakes in their most delicate of times. Incubation. Not only do I have a reptile guardian monitoring my incubator's temps and humidity, I also have a battery backup system in place. Now let me say first that if I wasn't renting my current residence, I would install a heavy duty generator powered by natural gas. But since I don't currently have that option, this was the best thing I could come up with in the meantime. Now to run this system, I have the following three items a deep cycle marine battery, a trickle charger, as well as a power inverter. At first, I had a second thermostat and a second strip of heat tape set just one degree cooler than the primary thermostat. Only problem with that is if you lose power to the whole house, neither thermostat is going to work. Ideally, what I'd like to do is have my thermostat plugged into the power inverter, which is powered by the battery, which is charged by the trickle charger, which is plugged into the wall. That way, if the power goes out, the thermostat just runs off the battery until the power kicks back on. But the issue I'm running into there is that the power inverter will sometimes turn off on its own for safety reasons, so it's not feasible to have it running 24-7. So currently, if the power goes out, 
you have to manually plug the thermostat into the power inverter if and when you lose power to the house. It's not the completely ideal setup, but it does work in a pinch. And after running some tests, I've found that the battery will power the incubator for almost two whole days. And this is usually more than plenty of time than it takes for most power outages to be resolved. All right, folks, if you guys have any ideas that you'd like to share on how to improve on any of these setups, I'm all ears. I urge you to share this video with all and any reptile groups you're part of. So many times I've seen tragic posts of people losing most if not all of their animals due to equipment failure. With any combination of tools I've mentioned here, those tragedies could have been avoided. To anyone watching this video who has lost animals to something like that, please accept my sympathy. That's not an easy thing to deal with and I can't imagine what it must have been like to deal with a loss like that. To those that haven't had to deal with that kind of loss, get this stuff set up now. Nothing is 100% foolproof, but this will sure give you a much stronger fighting chance against equipment failure. And next week, we're going to talk with my parents about how my obsession with snakes has affected their lives. And until then, you've been watching Triple B TV. Y'all take care. talking about basic hundred we're not gonna be talking about basic hundred such as using thermos this is another device that can is another device that connects via Wi-Fi if the ambient humidity and